Hello, you guys. How are you doing? Hey, hmm. we are at the corner again. Hmm. I need to call this the corner. So, how are you doing? So, I'm sure you are ready to hear my story time. The story time, the story time. Are you ready? Mm hmm. <laughs> yes so i married my dad yes this is the true fact let me tell you how it happened growing up when i was little right um people will say ah oh my daddy that's daddy's girl you know ah yeah okay kere you know and i'm sure a lot of you you've gone to dad to say ah oh my dad daddy's little wife <laughs> you know the nigerian custom is very funny they say ah that is little wife oh ah yaokekere you know they refer to my mom as ah mama and then yaokekere ah if my daddy wants something i'm always by his side you know and i always i admire my father i admire everything about my fire father i was daddy's girl when i say daddy's girl i was daddy's girl so you know we people what happens is that this you keep on hearing keep on hearing this yaokekere you keep on hearing that this little girl and then you know you get older in age and you wonder you're like you 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 have this huge esteem for your father you have this huge thing that every even when you are dating and you're looking for someone to marry you want that person to fit like your father you want that person to be like someone that you look like especially if you're someone that you grew up with a father that you admire some people are not fortunate for that some people they have fathers that are abusive fathers that are not good role model um when someone has a child you don't pray to be a bad role model but sometimes in life things happen and things change so when things change you your attitude changes when life throws you bad luck you know your attitude changes but one thing is that people tend to forget that the children are always watching the children are always watching um so as parents we have to be mindful of that i don't know if i know there are a couple of guys that watch my channel and even women um your boys are looking at that your girls are watching you they're watching you to be a good role model for them so this is a this is what happened. So growing up, of course, I was not an early bloomer, and I don't mean in body, I don't mean in breast and whatever. No, I mean I was very timid. <laughs> I was timid to the extent that even in boarding school, they used to call me embryo because I was so timid. I was afraid of everything. One little story. Let me tell you a short story. So when I was in college, right, I started college at the age of seventeen, and when I was in college, I was the youngest person in my class and um there were some guys i never dated i never had a boyfriend uh when i started college when i so i i i, I got to college and there was a guy that you know came up to me i believe he was from kenya or some country like that and he came up to me and he was like it was like oh he wants to go out on a date with me and you know what i told him i said my father said i am not allowed to date anyone <laughs> Oh my goodness i use my father as an excuse to avoid it because i was like ah i don't want anything to mess up my 4.0 gpa or i don't want anything to mess up anything in my education so regardless to say i never dated even through university i got out of university i was 20 years old when i got out of university i turned 21 I think a week yes exactly a week after i graduated my graduation ceremony and uh yeah no boyfriend <laughs> so it's fine okay but you know now i am married i am married so the key thing is this what happened was that throughout this time when i was 17 i started praying for my husband who my husband should be you know my husband should be this everything every category was that oh my husband was always about my father <laughs> Every category of my husband was always about my father. I was intently, I was marrying my father. I wanted to marry my father. I want to marry my father. I am marrying my father. 
I put this thing over this poor guy, whoever it was going to be. I didn't know at that time that this person had to be smart because my father is very smart. My father is um is retired right now, but is a pathologist, is a research scientist. So I wanted someone that was very brilliant because I feel my father is to me is like one of the most brilliant people i know he's so smart i wanted someone that was god fearing and my father is god fearing i wanted someone that looked out for family and friends and all that stuff so i put this stress on this future person <laughs> whom i had not known you know because i wanted to marry that model of my father i wanted to marry that person that appeared to be my father okay so now what happened you keep on watching because it actually gets very different it actually gets very real when i tell you that i really i married my father it's very real so what happened was that after i graduated from college i was a working girl working girl no dating i dated a few you know a few dates here and there nothing serious one was serious that one went south <laughs> south story for another day but when I finally met my husband, we got married. You can watch that link right there, how we met. And then my husband started work. Let me tell you a little bit about my father. So I told you that my father is a scientist and my father uh, is a pathologist. So my father, growing up, my father always traveled. He traveled and um, he was gone a lot. He was gone a lot. And when he came back home, I'm trying to check up on the kids <laughs> to make sure they're doing their schoolwork when he came back home the day was coming back home i remember the house was always bubbling everybody was like ah that is coming that is coming you know <laughs> everybody had slagged while daddy was not at home so the day that daddy is coming back oh my goodness my mom is cooking the finest soup my mom is you know the old house is boom 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 you know his favorite everybody is like in their best behavior when daddy is coming home and apparently i married my husband when i married my husband his career was not one that would take him traveling it was never one that would take him traveling but you know life you know it says that when life gives you lemon you make lemonade you don't cry over it so life give gave him lemon but the lemon made lemonade and the lemonade guess what lemonade made money and that is the career that he switched to so his job you know involved him traveling right now he travels off and on and all that stuff and one day i sat down to myself and as he told me that oh shola i'm coming home as i started rummaging trying to fix this because usually when my husband is gone my kids are very self-sufficient they cook their own meals i cook for them too but you know we're pretty self-sufficient but the day we hear that daddy is coming bah, 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 bah. daddy is coming hmm. that day that's how i am like putting out the stew, you know, take the, is the best meat out of the freezer and making the best a for real roll and making his rice and beans that he likes and making this and making the best of the best. And it dawned on me today. I was talking to one of my friends, um, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. And I was like, huh? I was telling her, oh yeah. It's probably the school again now. telemarketers what did i tell you telemarketers anyway what were we saying so yeah so as i was putting out all the meat and the stew and everything i was like wait a minute i was talking to my homegirl ryan and i was like gosh i've become my father <laughs> i'm married to my father and we get talking into it and she actually brought out a good point where we as growing up you know we always look for someone that resembled our father maybe not in looks but also in attitude also in what they do and sometimes even in looks so i want to ask this question i'm like is there anybody like me i mean is there anybody like me that you know you are like ah wait a minute to the mannerism the way my husband is this is exactly like my father oh, anyway if you married your father comment down below let me know I hope you guys enjoyed this little gist. So if you like more of this, let me know. I love sitting down at the corner. This is my corner. I keep on changing from the corner 
red corner to brown corner <laughs> okay i'll talk to you guys later have a beautiful day bye